There are trillions of humans out there. It's hard to micromanage that. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm sorry about and, this. And but... the way... <laughs> I'm sorry about this, that. but you got me with the skull in the chair. That's me from nine to five. <laughs> what is up, guys? I hope you guys are doing good. So my channel is basically about high difficult end game gameplay um, challenges and game mechanics, combat mechanics, all about the builds and that kind of thing. But since Space Marine 2 is still a couple of days away, I decided to make something interesting and to keep you guys entertained. Um, so we don't usually do this on the channel, and if you expect these kind of videos on the channel, then you're in the wrong place. It's my first time, so please be gentle. Uh, to, so, to help me out, I've invited a couple of my buddies here today. Um, let me introduce them to you guys. So I had to prepare a script. We have Ace, uh, he plays, uh, children's board games, and his channel is called Black Templar. <laughs> And his faction is called the Implausible Nature. Is that right, Mr. Ace? Uh, not quite, but close. <laughs> uh, I think it was the other way around? The other way around, yeah. I yeah. have to fire my script, guy. Uh, guys. Okay. And we also have uh, Echo 4. She is the woman that every man wants to be. Uh, enough what? said. Enough said. <laughs> And we have um, Spectre. What can I say about my man here, you know? Sometimes he's the janitor, sometimes he's the step bro. He also goes and does plumbing. Uh, what? I don't know who wrote that script. Are you I, talking I, about? I don't know who wrote that script, I swear. I, uh, we go Tros Ace. That was your name a couple of minutes ago. I don't even know who you are. So who are you again? Who invited you? Um, Echo invited me. Is that a problem? Uh, that would be fine. Okay, that's that's um, okay. edification enough. <laughs> that's edification enough. Okay, so starting with the first question, uh, Spectre, uh, the floor is yours. All right, we got Space Space Marine Two coming out. We're jumping in. What what are the things we need to know? I'll pitch that to Ace, I guess, to start, right? Sure. So he's uh, this, you know, nearly immortal uh, being that leads humanity. Um, he, when he was alive, or walking the earth, or walking around, I should say, he didn't. Uh, he didn't want to be worshipped as a god, but they uh, worshipped him anyway. Uh, after he uh, was mortally wounded and now sits on the golden throne, he's still mentally alive, but his body is essentially a corpse. So it's very violent. The life of Brian. Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, Pretty much. He has, <laughs> he has very special dietary requirements. Mm-hmm. He has to be fed a thousand people every day. Oh, or else he will die, oh. and humanity will lose the ability to travel between stars. So you know, specifically oh. psychic beings, people with psychic yes, powers. Yeah, I think they're called psychers, from what I understand. They are. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, who, they... who would have guessed, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, How okay. do they taste? I guess like, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. so another question for Ace here, um, which is, what is a Space Marine? So Space Marines are uh, sort of the creation of the Emperor. They uh, are superhuman uh, soldiers, seven feet tall. Uh, they're so uh, genetically modified and enhanced that they're barely human anymore. Um, biologically, they're functionally immortal. Um, they wield massive weapons. Uh, and um, they are sort of the final word in the defense of the Imperium of Man. So when stuff gets really bad, they send in the Space Marines. Uh, so, yeah, it's Space Marines in as quick of a nutshell as I can, uh, as I can do. <laughs> I want to understand they're analogous to, like, Special Forces, or is it even more, like... They're even than more that? elite than that, because, I mean, you think about... I mean, they are Special Forces. Typically, like... When a Space Marine force arrives, they may send, you know, as little as a single squad or uh, as much as like a company, which is 100 Marines, um, mm -hmm. depending on the scale of the conflict. Um, but they, uh, so far beyond human, um, they have multiple hearts, they have, you know, multiple lungs, um, they have blood clots almost instantly when they get wounded. Uh, you, you can't just sign up to be a space marine. You actually have to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, they uh, they basically are uh, created by uh, you know the space marine chapters, the existing chapters uh, going, and uh, they like take young teenage kids that are 
typically like in either violent cultures or um, warlike cultures and essentially kidnap them and turn them into space marines hmm. with like indoctrination and stuff. Well, that saves on recruitment costs, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, some worlds, like, they'll send their, like, best warriors or whatnot uh, to go and, you know, attempt to become a space marine. But so, so they, a regular, the attrition a regular rate... human can be converted into the space marine. Yeah, not, that's how they're made. Just, gotcha. You don't have to just be, like, born a space marine. No, you, you can. To... Space marines are created, not born. Gotcha. So, yeah, you have to be a human first. Um, and they... Uh, um, recruitment is is brutal like the attrition rate for the survival rate for recruitment is like one out of ten uh or even less um becoming a space marine yeah it's probably even less than that they're like depends on the chapter that too (laughs) um so it depends you know a number of factors but it's it's very rigorous and it's very very hard to become a space marine so that's why there are (laughs) relatively speaking to the um rest of the forces of humanity very yeah. few in number now culturally within the imperium is it like an honor to be a space marine is this something that's desired by people or is it like oh god he's a space marine because he was a mess he was a screw up but he was really violent and competent so we're sending him to go do that oh is it's 100 it like- 100. it's 100% an honor uh people okay. look at these guys as heroes they're they're seven feet tall and almost as wide, they're in a freight train of powered armor. They are seen as the angels of the emperor, the angels of death, they're called. And they're superhumanly fast, even in all that armor. They're superhumanly strong. It's a when one of them shows up, you're both like, oh, thank the god emperor they're here, but also, oh, things are bad. Yeah. Are you sure you are not talking about my wife? <laughs> I, bu- I believe the correct terminology is absolute unit. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. They they yep. are him. Gotcha. Yep. They are that guy. There are literally stories where they send one space marine to deal with a planet issue. If you see more than one, things have gone very very south. Yeah. All right. So I think that's uh, very well put, and we could move on to the next question. Is everyone okay with that? So. What is a Tyranid? It's basically uh, a bug from space. A very angry hornet that gouges out your eyeballs and want to feed on your entrails and anything else. Oh, basically, so it, it's all about biomass, right? It's all about uh, you are biomass, your, your kids. Yeah, it's all about consuming hmm. and, not the, and not in the friendly kind. They okay. just come. They just come in like billions down to your planet and want to eat you and all of your neighbors and everything you can everything you know and all the trees and, and all the trees and, and all, all the, the water they, they feast on all biomass right everything. yeah yep. so basically Planets. when they are gone you ha- there is no planet this is just a just a, a rock it's, it's just an a asteroid rock. it's an asteroid a big fucking asteroid how hmm. smart is one Tyranid, or is it like they're a hive mind? I like I know different stories. Zerg or one thing, and and the aliens and alien have have a queen and all this other stuff. But yeah, Tyranids, how independent are they? Basically, you have the the big ones like the hive tyrant and and the um, uh, Tyranid warriors, and they're basically the brain. Uh, all the other things are just like your fingers. They don't have any anything to say in this matter even so drones of... even drones and zerklings are better than than a uh, homagant for example a homagant is a little bug with little sharp uh, sights on their hands and they are gonna squ- scratch your face off <laughs> if, That's all they, if do. they come close yeah if they so lose the... connection <laughs> with the hive mind the lesser uh, bugs basically are just re- resort to like animalistic behavior. They have no sentience whatsoever. Yeah. Well, they turn on each other. Yeah. Gotcha. I, well, uh, turn to each other. It d- depends. It depends. Um, the, the bigger, um, not only the bigger, uh, not all of the bigger ones are basically brains for the smaller ones. They are alpha. Uh, if the, if there is no, um, like Hive Tyrant, Tyranid Warrior in the near, they basically 
all ran to the biggest biggest creature and that is their alpha so basically yeah uh what if the biggest creature is a space marine do they have to do they fall that thing now if you're not a tyrannid you are dead (laughs) you are pretty much dead you are just food to be added to the collective of the biomass all right so no so no tyrannid disguises in uh no no if you if you put yourself (laughs) a little a little butterflies with glitter on your back and no you can't fool them (laughs) Now, there is a caveat to the whole Tyranid disguise thing. There is something called Gene Stealers. Don't really know if they're going to be in Space Marine 2, but they are Tyranids still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We saw them in other games like Space Hall. Think of them like Infested. As well. And think of them like Infested Terrans from. uh, I was going to. That's what I was going to say. That's what that sounds like to me. Kind of. But a lot more subtle about it. Yeah. So I want to throw a quick question to words um, Echo and Three is basically where do they come from? Like the Tyranids and what's their purpose basically? The, the Tyranids yes. come from yeah, where somewhere we're... else. So oh, the, okay. entirety of, um, the entirety of 40k takes place within our own galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. The Tyranids are coming from outside of the galaxy. We don't know where they come from. We just know they're here and they're trying to eat us all. And then they're going to move on to the next galaxy. Yeah. Once they've sucked this one entirely. So kind of like the Yuzen Vong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just, a, I just dated compare. myself. If we want to use like a Marvel reference, then like Galactus. Yes. Galactus is a good one too. Uh, it sounds like the Tyranids would kick Galactus ass. But oh, my so. discussion with Ace last <laughs> week was uh, they come from Tyr. A planet called Tyr. They were first uh, a Tyran. They were, they, were, they were first discovered and fought against on the planet Tyr. And that's where the that's where we first ran into them. ran into them. That's yeah, not where they're from. Yeah. That's just like, oh, this is where we first encountered them. That's their name now, I guess. <clears throat> okay. Um, and do you guys think is it because we weren't nice to them? Like we didn't offer them like a pack of cigarette and some coffee? <laughs> no, I mean that certainly things. didn't help. But <laughs> I mean. They they just want to eat. They're hungry. They're hungry boys. Yeah. And That's everything right. that is not a tyrannid is food. Yep. I'm. Yep. I mean, that's not so bad. Or like, uh, I can just very easily compare it to them. Like, you should have seen my wife when she was pregnant. So, okay, moving on to the next question. Um, <laughs> all right. So, uh, enough talk about the space marines and the tyrannids. I mean, there, there's not never enough talk about them. But what is the Imperium? Um, Echo, you want to shine some light on that? The Imperium as a whole is basically the last stand of humanity. The Imperial Guard being their navy, their boots on the ground, their army. Um, They also have the religion, the Imperial Cult, which surrounds all about Biggie, the Emperor. Uh, We could go into another hour on that, but to make it short, pretty simple. They want to hold out humanity and push humanity as far as it can go expand the imperial dominion i guess we'll call it mm-hmm. from what i understand pretty much all human uh systems are under the imperium in this universe correct yeah so correct. Are, how how closely are they managed like i know when shit gets real <laughs> the marines they do stuff but like you know so, uh, when it when it gets sent up to corporate, does the emperor hear about it? Like that's, that's uh, the question. Well, the emperor doesn't necessarily have ears anymore. He's a skeleton on a in a golden chair now. But um, hmm. he is called the master of a million worlds. There are trillions of humans out there. It's hard to micromanage that. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm sorry about and, this. And but... The way. The I'm sorry about this, that. but you got me with the skull in the chair. That's me from nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, every day I nine to five. That. Okay, sorry. Go on ahead. Yes. All right. Um, but the way, the the way they manage it as best they can is through that religion that Echo was talking about, which is um, the Emperor is our God, the one true God. All of humanity are his servants. If you're not, you're a heretic and you will be put to death. If you are a mutant, you are no longer human. You will be put to death. If you are an alien, you do not deserve to live. You will be put to death. And if any human is found in breach of these, 
they're a heretic. And we know where that goes. <laughs> hmm. So, uh, and if they suspect that you might be in breach of these, they also put you to death. <laughs> yeah. So no <laughs> Very neg negotiating or anything like okay, that. Okay, wait. All right. So I think we'll use the last couple of minutes uh, discussing about the first game, Space Marine 1, and the lore and whatever happened in the story. So wasn't Titus accused of uh, heresy? Yes, he was. And he was picked up by an Inquisitor to be taken away to be interrogated, I believe. Okay, yep. and is Unexpected. the Inquisitor what I think it is, or is it something special? The Inquisition is its kind of its own thing. It's part of the church still, but they are a little bit off on their own. They're like secret police. They're yeah. big brother for the Imperial cult. Mm. Okay, makes sense. What did, what did he do to piss them off? Um, he, uh, I believe they do remember. nothing to piss the Inquisition well, off, and they'll be in your true. stuff. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, if I remember correctly, didn't he like there was some artifact that was related to chaos, some kind of warp yeah. artifact or something, yeah. and he was able to like wield it without uh, stand, stand, stand its corruption yeah. or something like that. And it so a, they were um, like, "That's suspicious." So. We need to. You need to come with us. So he was just too good at his job. Yeah, basically. basically. Well, manipulating warp energies is not really part of the job. Um, it's it's actually very dangerous. But yeah, in if we really want to boil it down, he was a little bit too good. Is is where we boil it down to. Ah. that's that's unfortunate. Well, obviously he gets out of whatever that was because. I guess him. so. Space Marine 2 happens, right? So He does get demoted. He went from captain to lieutenant. Right. So That that pay cut sucks. That's got to suck. He gets <laughs> off very light in that, if that's the truth. Uh, so, yeah, I wonder suck. if he's going to reclaim his uh, name or whatever in the, uh, the sequel. Or oh. does he even care? Like, is, is, like, that's the thing, like, the the motivations of the space marines i don't say altruistic but they seem to be uh mission focused so how much how much is how much are like they a character because i'm i'm not familiar i haven't played space marine 1 this dude looks badass but like is it uh is he a blank slate for the player or is there actually some motivations that uh are a little deeper you guys know anything about that uh well titus himself is actually pretty cool the ultramarines in are known for sort of being very rigid and unbending as far as the, you know, what the Codex Astarte says, you know, the, the rule book for Space Marine Battle. Um, and uh, he's he's very much like, they're meant to be interpreted and adapted, not like rigidly adhered to. So he's actually one of the really, really cool Ultramarines in that regard. And he definitely does have a lot of character, um, you know, and uh, the Space Marines in general can have a lot of character and flavor to them as well. They're not just like unfeeling killing machines. Well, okay, yeah, they are unfeeling killing machines, but they also have, you know, character uh, as well and not just, uh, they're not just like mindless murder machines. You know, they, they have personalities and they have their own wants and desires, which usually are focused on duty and honor of the, you know, the chapter. But yeah. You had mentioned the, uh, was, was it Black Knights? What were they called? The, uh, Black Templars. Black Templars. And you said they mm -hmm. have kind of a knight squire relationship, the way their organization is structured. Yep. yep. So uh, I guess you get characterization in terms of flavor of how the Marines are structured, depending on their chapter. Right. And then yep. you would have, and then you do have individuals from within that. It's not necessarily a one note um, experience. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They're not all, <laughs> you know, identical people. They're, you know, uh, they all are individuals still, but um, for the most part, it's always you know duty and honor to the chapter above all else and to the Imperium. Makes sense. And a sense of brotherhood is very strong as well. Thank you, all of you, uh, for being here today. I think that's that's very exciting. Uh, we have about like what two more days to go for the game actually releases on Wednesday, the fifth, for people who bought the early access um okay and just let me know if you guys like the video and if if you guys have anything else to add uh feel free to 
basically light up the comment section. And if you have any questions in particular for any one of these uh, beautiful, lovely people here today, uh, just shoot it straight at them and I'll make sure they get the question and we'll get you the answers. So with that being said, uh, I bid thee farewell and we will see you guys next time.